Hi there, welcome to Big V TV. Great to have you with us, VYC Women, with thanks to our fantastic friends at Moulton. Got to give them a plug. Um, yep, hey, welcome, certainly. Welcome back. You've had a week off, Steve-O. Oh, I haven't had a week off. Have you been We've been working out? hard. Oh, good. Flat out. Yeah. Unlike someone else. We've had two weeks off, haven't we? A couple of weeks off, yeah. But you you, you know, probably had, had a couple of weeks off. off. Yeah, but you... Too many cells lost over yeah, there, well, mate. I had a couple of good weeks off, let's put it that way. Uh, VYC women, let's have a talk about that. Nana Wadding 68 defeated Hawthorne 57. Uh, Saray Taylor had 17 for Nana Wadding. Charlie Hebel has been pretty good uh, Pretty good form for Hawthorne. Had 17 points and she's 8 rebounds. A, she's got a fan club by the sounds of it out there as well. I always seem to see on social media... There's a fan club for Charlie Hebel. Uh, Hebes has got a, a yep. fan club. Yep, cheer squad, I think. Really? Don't know how big it is, but I know it's Charlie's cheer squad. It always, cheer squad? It always pops that? up. Well, who's in it with you? Uh, who's? No, I, I support the team, oh, not right. individuals. The team <laughs> magic. Let, let's get to the most important thing here. None of what got the win. Yeah, and a um, bit costly for Hawthorne, that one, because they are now they're only one game clear in fourth spot. I think teams have to start thinking about that at now, especially after the break, um, uh, DV right on their tail. So, um, yeah, good win well, by Nana forget, and Let's not forget youth is finish early as well. Yeah. So they're not far away from finals right now. Yeah. We're getting in the last month, aren't we? Ballarat 59 went down to Danny Long 68. Amy Baum had 14 for Dandy. Steph Powell had 13 and 9. Uh, five steals as well, which is good. And four blocks, by the way. Taylor win 15 points for Ballarat. Run of the mill, Rangers. Run yeah, in a losing side though, just to just to nominate someone in a losing side that's done all right, Abby Sutherland um, for the Rat. Averages five and five, had eighteen and eight, Jeez, had eight right. points. Sorry, what's her name? Abby Sutherland. Good on you, Abby. Just giving her a bit of a plug there. Had eight points, seventeen rebounds, nice, including five O's. Well, I'll tell you what, if it's good enough for us to give, what's her name again? Abby Sutherland. If it's good enough for us to give Abby Sutherland a plug, I expect Ballarat to get something out on social media and they, this week, pumping her up. Yeah, and they um that. It puts them actually in a spot to look at getting into the four on their side as well with that win. With still, sorry, they still have a chance. Chance to yep. look at getting into that four. Especially if what's it? What's her name? Abby is Sutherland. She, especially if Abby keeps that up, that's good. A uh, bullying fifty-two defeated Sandringham forty-two. Bit of a grind this one. Kara Tasari sixteen points for bullying. Mel Pryor had twelve for Sandringham. Um, not sure it would have been a pretty game to watch, Steve. No, probably not. Good to see Kara Tasari back for bullying. Though I think she missed a week or two. Good um, because she wasn't also seen in the seniors either. Um, Sandringham, Amelia Smith played against their old side, had 11 points, mm. but um, just not enough to get uh, the Sabres over the line. DV 57 defeated G Long, 48. Shana Ayres, 12 and 11 for the Eagles. Emma Wilkinson, 12 and 12 for Geelong. Uh, don't know that there's much to see here either. No, very defensive last quarter, you would hope, considering it was 9 to 5. Right. Um, so we'll say that it was great defence in that last quarter by both sides. Um, and I'm not sure the last time either I've seen a intense. team shoot 26% and win a game. Nice. Uh, is it Diamond Valley shot at 26% and won? Yeah. Did I ask what Geelong shot at? Uh, I think it was t- on 19 or 20, mm. something like Jeez. that. Um, right. We know what's and going again, on the training this week. Talking about, you know, bullying, uh, Sandringham. Uh, and DV as well. They're all fighting for that fourth spot at the moment. Um, Important. You just can't have that. The upside uh, for shooting that low is we haven't got to Waverley's home game yet. Mm. All right, we'll get there in a moment. Uh, speaking of, uh, sorry, their second home game for the yeah. uh, weekend, because their first home game wasn't too bad. Waverley 67, went down to Eltham 74. Georgia Dale 13 in that one for the Wildcats. Michaela Miller 16 and 8 for Waverley. Uh, they were competitive, Waverley. They left it all there Saturday night, Yeah, for, for this one. Yeah, yeah they left it all there. Yeah, yeah, Eltham put up 20 more shots in this game, um, but only made three more baskets than Waverley overall. So they were going for law of averages. I think there's a few teams and, doing shooting practice. And, well. and, it, and it worked a bit. Um, Waverley shot at 61% in the last half, mm-hmm. in the last quarter, and came home really strongly. So uh, that was good for them uh, in, that, mm-hmm. in that game. Uh, well, Eltham dropped it on Sunday, so they split the weekend. 52 went down to Melbourne, 84. Good opponent. Bree Babbick had 14 for Melbourne. She's been playing very well this season. Yes. Jess Harley. Now, this was a great line. I've got to tell you, 
Um, yeah. It's not all about points. And Jess Harley was right in the mix for blue carpet this week. Mm -hmm. um, only got eliminated late in the piece because there was a lot of good performances around the league. But Jess Harley, have a listen to this for a long. Ten points, seven rebounds, seven steals, five assists. I'd send Coaches a letter, love that stuff. Send a letter, Jess. Don't be silly. Coaches love that stuff. Uh, at Melbourne, run of the mill. I know we keep saying run of the mill, but that's just you mark that. And down. we don't talk up, we don't talk foul shots positively very often. But Weary Melbourne hit thirteen of four. Melbourne hit thirteen of fourteen. Yeah, no, that's good. So yeah. finally, nice. we've got a team that's that's no, that's good. Made it. I like that. Kilsyth forty nine went down to Ballarat sixty one. So the Rats split the weekend as well. Lydia Brooks, Brooks, has been playing up in the senior team there as well, coming off the bench. Uh, eighteen and fourteen in this one, very very good. Uh, Brianna McKenzie, good to see Macker out there. She had nineteen points for Kilsyth. The rat important win. Yeah, keeps probably keeps their season alive a little bit because they mm. need. If they didn't get either one or both of mm. last weekends, they were going to struggle. Starting to drift. And yeah, I think what are they? One, two, three, six. You can count the six, or right? just thought he's going to get the fingers out then. Uh, Waverley twenty nine went down to Ringwood seventy three. Twenty nine, did you say? Yeah, I said twenty nine. It's a shocker for Waverley. Good the night before, uh, very ordinary on Sunday. Michaela Miller only had eight points in that one. She was their top scorer. Rachel Watson had eight points as well, but the board banger. That's her name yeah. down there. Board banger. It's a great name. Um, uh, the banger had twenty uh, rebounds. Uh, in this w one. W. The banger had twenty rebounds, mate. She can the board banger. The board banger. She can seriously take. Uh, a rebound. I've known Rachel Watson since she was about this high through her junior career, and she, about that high, okay. um, she can seriously take a rebound. Is she leading the league? She's got to be. Has to be. Yeah, I'd say oh, she'd, she'd have to. Say she'd be leading be. thirty leagues if she was playing yeah. in them. Oh, she um, big win ring. They smashed them, sixty-three to twenty-nine on the boards. Well, oh, it's the banger. That yeah. is, um, and uh, refs didn't play much of a role. Twenty fouls in the game, so a couple of good stats for I'd love for anything. Oh, we'd love it. Anyway. Um, Ringwood hit fifty of their seventy-three in the paint, so just far too big, far yeah. too strong. Um, it, it, it's probably in a way, it's a little bit concerning for the league that the top and bottom are so far apart. Um, uh, yeah, it is. I mean, Waverley very competitive the night before. Let's not take that away from yeah. them. But that's a that's a big wake that's up call. It's a reality wake check, up. isn't yeah. it? Hume City fifty went down to Knox sixty six. Sarah Scott eleven points for Hume City. Uh, Emily Fisher had seventeen for Knox. Um, good win, Knox. You'd expect that this time of the season. Yeah, probably just disappointing they didn't win by more. Okay, ladder. Keep Steve. rolling, really. Terrell Conference Nutter Wadding thirteen and four. Knox eleven and four. Bulleen twelve and five, Hawthorne eight and eight, Diamond Valley six and seven, Sandringham seven and nine, Hume City four and eleven, Geelong one and fifteen. The big one there for me, Steve-O, is uh, third place on the ladder there, Bulleen. Mm -hmm. um, Bulleen, by any stretch of the imagination, Foxy's girls have been the last two grand finals. They mm -hmm. haven't been great this season. They're twelve and five. Yep. I mean, they're, they're coasting. They're going to make the finals by a mile. Yep. Um, if they can get their act together. Who knows what they can do? But and at the experience moment, we know in finals is, yep. is a lot because that extra pressure that players think they don't feel, but they do. Yep. Um, experience amounts for a lot. Uh, Watson? Watson Conference Ringwood stand alone, 15 and 1. Melbourne and Danny Nong, 12 and 4. Bendigo, 7 and 8. Then Altham, 6 and 9. Ballarat, 5 and 11. Kilsyth, 3 and 11. Waverley, 3 and 14. Before we get into this week's games, can I just say this about Ringwood? Um, because I spent considerable years at, at Ringwood, a fair while ago, um, going back, uh, you know, 10, 12, 12 years plus. Uh, all credit to the Hawks. They're, they're very competitive at state champ women. They're the reigning champions, as we know. Mm -hmm. Their youth team is 15 and 1, having mm -hmm. an awesome season. Their girls program, you know, yeah, 12, fantastic. 15 years ago was very ordinary, let okay. me tell you. Um, right now, that that is... I just want to send out a very, very big pat on the back and well done to Win. all the crew at Ringwood Winner. because they are up and about and flying. It's great to see their women's program mm -hmm. performing as well as what it is, not only in the seniors, but in the youth seniors, as well. Seniors won a title last year. Oh, no, no, I just said mm. that, but I'm saying the youth as well. They've yeah, got stuff. kids coming yep. through, which is great. Well done, Ringwood. Good. So 12 to 15 years ago, they were ordinary. Their girls' program was. Do you know what's yeah, changed? I think 12 to 15 left. years ago, you <laughs> left. Yeah, no, they'd be there. I'm just putting, the, putting no, the dates no, no, together no, here. No, no, I'm with you. Just... I'm with you. I'll put my hand up right now. Round 13. Here we Great go. Great decision, Steve. Ringwood. Melbourne taking on <laughs> Diamond Valley. <laughs> Melbourne. <laughs> get burnt for it. <laughs> Melbourne um, and Diamond Valley. Uh, Melbourne for me. Yep. Melbourne. Danny Nong and Kilsyth. I'm on the Rangers, Steve. I think Danny Nong will sure. get up. 
Hawthorne and Ringwood? Well, I'm going for the Hawks. I just think the Hawks are the informed team. Without uh, a doubt. Mind you, um, Danny Long's pretty good as well, but Ringwood are even a the bit The board at the banger to dominate. Yep. Mm -hmm. uh, Ballarat and Waverley. I like the Rat at home. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I reckon the Rat are they're fighting for that spot. Okay. Here, they they come. Here they come. Kilsyth and Geelong. Kilsyth will win. Geelong couldn't win a Chook Raffle at the moment down at the local farm. They're just struggling. Yeah. Uh, I just think Gilsyth will win. Mm. Yeah, I tend to agree with you there. Thank you. Knox Sam. and Bulleen. Uh, important game. Very important game for these two teams. Uh, we're talking second and third on the ladder. Turkey. Um I think I'm going to go with Knox at home, Steve. Yeah, I'll say the Raiders. Yeah, Knox. Yep. Uh, Nutter Wadding and Sandringham. Uh, Nutter Wadding. Nutter Wadding. Flinny and the girls. Sure. Very good team. Bendigo and Eltham. Uh, I think maybe Eltham on the road game. will come up short. I think Bendigo will get this. Megan Moody and the girls. I think Bendigo. Yeah, I'll, I'll go Bendigo tight, as well. Just tight, the yeah. travel. Yep, Braves in a close one. And Hume City and Diamond Valley. Eagles. DV for me. Valenti no, and the crew. Hume City. Heavenly. Okay, of course you are. It's got to be different. Get out there, support your teams. Round 13 coming up with thanks to Malton. It's VYC Women. We'll see you next week on Heavenly Valenti TV. Thank you.